Hello friends, Shelly here, the Youth and Family Program Coordinator, and I'm here to share with you today our daily Bible reading from our Taking Faith Home Toolkit that we've been using as a congregation to learn and grow and practice our faith, faith together each and every day. If you have a Bible nearby, you can go ahead and grab it and read along with me. Otherwise, you can just listen as I read. Before we begin, just a reminder that our focus for this week in our Taking Faith Home Toolkit is our hope and strength is in God. And for Wednesday, our Bible reading comes from Titus chapter 2, verses 11 through 15. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. While we wait for the blessed hope, the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. These, then, are the things you should teach. Encourage and rebuke with all authority. Do not let anyone despise you. Hmm. So what does that tell us about our hope and strength is in God? You know, the thing that kind of stood out to me in this verse was the part where it says, while we wait for the blessed hope, the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. It really tells me that God and Jesus is our hope. So it really connects with this idea of being our hope. And when we think about the theme that we have this week of you know, All Saints Day and, and considering and thinking about all of the people we've lost in this last year, that can be a very um, hopeless feeling when you lose somebody. You feel very alone um, and it can be very tough. But um, what I'm reading and hearing in this message is that we can find hope in God. Maybe the hope that someday we'll see that person again in heaven. Maybe it's a hope that um, that person will be with you, uh, even just in spirit as you go about your day. Maybe there'll be things that remind you of them and and um, that, that hope can help carry you through, even when it, the times get really hard and it's really tough. Hopefully that, that hope that you get from God is what you can lean on when those times are tough. I think the other thing that was kind of interesting about it was, you know, they talk about, you know, this is what you teach. You teach about Jesus and you teach about God and you teach that God's hope can be helpful even when it's really, really hard. And so I think that's an important message too, that it's good for us to spend time like this talking with each other. And maybe you talk to a new friend today about this idea um, and that you be sort of that teacher and you share that message. So I do hope you have somebody nearby that you can talk to. And of course, if not, you can always talk to God in your prayers or do some journaling and self-reflection maybe. Either way, I hope you are having a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you again really soon.